In this video, we will tell you all about supports in structural analysis and design. We'll go through the different existing types, what they look like, and much more. In simple terms, supports are the connections between a structure and the fixed point. Depending on the type, they prevent certain displacements or rotations of the structure. There are many different types of supports in structural analysis and design, but the three most common ones are rigid supports, pin supports, and roller supports. Those three differ mainly in the number of movements they enable and thus the number of forces they can resist, also known as support forces. Let's start with a roller support. A roller support enables rotations and horizontal displacements and offers resistance only against vertical displacements. So it can absorb only forces in the y direction and therefore provides only one support force. Roller supports are often utilized for bridges. Next we have the pin support. This type prevents all displacements but enables rotations. In other words, it can only absorb forces in the x and y directions and thus provides two support forces. Simple connections in concrete and steel structures are often considered as pin supports. These are also called hinged supports. And the last type is the rigid support. This type doesn't enable any displacements or rotations. This means that it can absorb moments and forces in the x and y directions and therefore provides three support forces. A classic example of a rigid support is for cantilevers such as balconies. Another support that is often utilized is the hinge between two beams. This is not a pin support, but it can absorb and transfer horizontal and vertical forces. Very important note at this point, hinges cannot absorb or transfer any moments. Of course, there are also other types of supports and nonlinear supports as well, but we will discuss those in the next video. This was our selection of the most common support types utilized in structural analysis and design. Let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions or ideas for the next videos. We hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.